Okay. Let's find a seated, comfortable position where you feel happy and comfortable, whether it's cross-legged, whether it's with your legs out, whether you're tucked on your knees, however you feel most comfortable. Let's place the hands on the knees this morning. Good, let's close the eyes. And before we start, let's take three deep breaths. We're gonna inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Here we go. Inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Nice and long. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Good. Let the breath just soften and gently allow the breath to breathe through the nose now, in and out through the nose. Just settling into the body and just give yourself a little check in, see how that feels. Checking in through the legs and the hips. Checking in through the belly. And chest, shoulders. Just checking in through the top of the back and the neck. Soften through the jaw. Soften the eyes, breathing through the nose. Good, let's drop the head, bring the chin to the chest, feel the back stretching out of the neck, feel the neck opening. bit of opening through the neck. Soften the shoulders, allow them to be soft. And then let's take the right ear to the right shoulder. So just open out through the left side. So soften the left shoulder down. Feel that extension through the neck. Opening out. And just soften through there, releasing any tension that's maybe in the shoulders and in the neck area. Softening through that. And coming up, let's take the left ear to the left shoulder. Soften into the right side of the body, softening into the right shoulder, right neck. Just opening through the neck. Feel that extension. If it feels tight, try to soften the shoulder, try to soften the neck. Allow it just to be there. Let's come up to centre. Let's drop the head. And let's just take the head a full rotation all the way around a couple of times. Don't go too fast. Feel into the body. I know I hold tension through my shoulders and neck and even if I feel like I think I'm okay, sometimes my shoulders and my neck will tell me otherwise. And that's a good indication that maybe I am feeling a little bit tight and a bit tense. Sometimes the body lets us know before the head. Let's take the head the other way.
you know, the head will tell us that we're okay and it will keep trying to convince you that whatever you're doing is okay and all right. But sometimes the head isn't the indicator, sometimes it is the body, and the body's telling you otherwise. And sometimes you have to listen to the body and be with that. Good. Bring the head into centre, let's interlace the fingers, let's take them up over the head. Nice big stretch. Stretch your arms up over the head. Really nice big stretch. Ever so slightly a little bit of a bend to the to the right hand side. Just, just taking it ever so slightly. And over to the left. Just opening out through the rib cage. Opening the rib cages out. Beautiful. Let's take this, release the hands, bring them behind us, interlace the fingers behind us, draw the hands down our back and open the chest, raise the head, open the thyroid and the throat, just breathe through the nose, big open chest. Beautiful, release the hands. Let's take the hands out either side. Let's bend the elbows and come into a cactus shape here. Good, let's just rotate over towards the left. Be gentle, don't take it too far. Coming back into centre, opposite side. Back into centre. Let's place the left hand down to the floor. Right arm comes up and over. You can bend that lower elbow just to give yourself a nice little stretch. So feel that stretch, feel it from the hip bone, feel it all the way from the hip bone, opening out through the body, nice diagonal shape. And then we come up and over, right hand comes to the floor, left hand comes over. Feel into that side as well, so feel into that lower hip extension through the body, opening out, and drop down our hands, let's walk the hands forward, draw the forearms to the floor, drop the head, good, let's walk back up, let's release the legs, Move anything that you're sat on, release the legs out, give yourself a little shake off, give the arms a little shake. We're going to roll onto our backs, so <clears throat> let's do a little roly poly a few times. So we're going to hold onto our knees, we're going to roll backwards and forwards two or three times and end up on our backs. So let's, let's do that. One. Two, massaging the back. Three, maybe one more time. Ending up on the back, knees bent, feet to the floor. Palms facing down. Good, let's just take the knees up to the chest, interlace the fingers around the knees, point the toes up towards the ceiling. Flat feet, give yourself a little roll on the back. Nice little roll. Good, let's drop the head to the floor. Let's take the feet up towards the ceiling, interlace the fingers behind the knees, support the legs. Let's point the toes. So let's point the toes, then let's point the heels towards the ceiling. Toes, heel, toes, heel. Just do that a few times in your own time. And you'll just feel that extension through the front of your foot. And you'll also feel that extension through the hamstring as well. Good. So let's 
Bring the head up to meet the knees. Give ourselves a little roll here. Roll about on the back. Good, dropping the head, taking the right hand on the right knee, left hand on the left knee, opening the legs out and draw them, draw them up towards the body. So you're drawing your elbows towards the ground whilst holding onto the knees. And give your feet a nice little rotation, your ankles a little rotation here. Scrunch up the toes, scrunch the toes up, give your feet a nice little rotation. Lovely. Just draw the knees together so they're up against the chest. Good, and then we're gonna roll up to seated from here. Roll up to seated. And then let's come up to standing. We're gonna shake ourselves out, give ourselves a little warm up. Give ourselves a little shake out. Warm the body up, little bounce, little bounce about, woo! Then you open the legs out, shake the head out, bring the body forward, sway from side to side, whatever you feel, whatever you feel helps you just to warm up in the mornings, woo! Open the knees out, open the, open the hips up. Give yourself a nice big movement. Try to, while you're doing one movement, try to do another. So while you're doing this, maybe you're moving the arms at the same time. Maybe swimming with your arms. Bend the knees. Yeah, lovely. Woo. Let's do our favorite favorite posture just to get all that energy out. Child at the checkout, standing, bouncing up and down, letting the energy out through a vocal tone. Here we go. One more time. Good. Ooh, that should, you should Warm now, you should feel nice and warm. Body's flowing, waking up the spine. Good. Okay, we're going to go through the through the Siri Namaskaram. We're going to introduce the three warriors today to you. So we're going to introduce the three warriors through the through the sun salutation. So we'll have a slight variation of sun salutation. And let's start by going on to the fronts of our mats. Feet hip width apart. So when your feet hip width apart, try to look down, spread the toes. We're going to open the chest out. Hands are in the prayer position, thumbs pressed against the chest. You're going to drop the arms, you're going to bring them up and over, palms facing each other. And then you're going to move the body into a little back bend. So we open the chest, little back bend here. And then when we move forward, we move forward from the hips. So let's soften the knees, it's come forward, all the way down, nice straight back. Draw in that core, soften the knees if you need to, drop the head. Drop the head, soften the knees, your hands at either side of the feet. Draw your awareness to the left side of your body here. And we're going to take the left leg far back, as far back as you can, so step it right back, drop the knee to the floor, open the chest out. Lovely. And then we're going to come up from here. We're going to raise the arms up. Palms facing each other. Soften the shoulders, allow them to drop down the back. 
draw your awareness through the front of your body, breathe through the nose, soften into the shape. The entire torso comes forward, all the way down. Hands come down in front of the front foot. And then we move into our first downward dog, inverted V. So big wide palms to the hands. And let's walk this one out, so let's bend one knee at a time. This is our first downward facing dog. So let's just walk this one out, making sure the hamstrings don't feel too tight. Look through towards the knees, so that's your point of awareness. Your knees are your point of awareness here. Lovely. And then from the downward facing dog, we're going to come down onto our hands and knees. So we're going to drop onto our knees, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to look forward. And from here, we're just going to move into our cat cow. So we inhale, we rotate the pelvis in, arch the back, drop the head. Exhale, we open out the body, big chest. And then inhale. So in your own time, move nice and freely. Move with the breath. So this is yoga. So this is this is what yoga is about. Yoga means to yoke, to unite. It means to unite the breath with the body. So as we move, we either an inhale or an exhale in. If you want to drop down a little bit further and you want to move the spine a little bit more, have some free freedom to your practice. So this is just an instruction, there's no, there's, this is not an instruction, this is an invitation. There's no instructions here. We're just inviting you to explore the body, moving as freely as you want to, however feels most comfortable for you. And then maybe if you want to just open the shoulder a little bit, you can take the right arm and you can place it through the gap between the left arm and the knee and bring the right shoulder to the floor. And we're just opening out through there. And then we can take it to the other side. So the left hand comes through the gap between the right hand and the knee, and we drop the shoulder to the floor. And we open out. Coming back up, placing the hands under the shoulders. Let's tuck the toes, let's bring the bottom up towards the sky. Downward dog, inverted V, big open palms, breathe. Then let's look through towards the hands. The left leg steps through. We drop the back knee. We open the chest. We bring the torso up so the knee is on the ground. So both knees are bent here. And we take the arms, we palms are facing each other. We raise the arms up to the sky. We drop the shoulders down the back. We look up and we breathe through the nose. Breathe. Good. The entire torso moves forward. Bring the torso forward, hands come down either side of the front foot. The back knee comes off the ground and we step the back foot through to join the front foot. We drop the head. So let's drop the head, shake the head out. Give yourself a little sway from side to side. Ground down into the feet here. Really ground down into your feet, big open 
big open toes, pads in your feet are really ground down and we gently start to come up. We slowly come up, keep the chest and the chin together. So keep the chin tucked until the last moment. Palms come up, big open back, big open chest, nice back bend. Let's come down, hands come into the prayer position, thumbs pressed against the chest, come into the front of your mats, take a breath, feet hip width apart, breathe. And breathe. Be gentle with yourself here. Good, let's keep the hands where they are. We're going to push the hands up towards the ceiling from the prayer position. We open the arms out, palms facing each other, and we move into a little back bend. Ground down to the feet, soften the knees, and we come forward from the pelvis. Swan dive coming forward all the way down. Keep the back nice and straight until you can soften and round. Beautiful. Drop the head. Good. And then we're going to take the right side. So let's draw our awareness to the right side and we're going to step back into a high lunge. Here we go. High lunge. So the back knee is off the floor. If you struggle with this and you don't want to go that far, you can drop the knee. This is up to you. But for now, let's see if we can take the knee off the floor, high lunge. Then we're going to rotate that back foot out 90 degrees and we're going to come up. We're going to extend the arms out, palms are facing downwards. The palms are facing down towards the floor. Front knee is bent. We look forward over the bent knee. Both our arms are in line with each other. Warrior two. And then really feel like your middle fingers are being, being pulled away from you. So you feel like this is a, an extension through the body. You're not just hanging out in the shape. You feel like you're really being pulled away, looking forward. Breathe. Take a breath. And then let's cartwheel the hands forward. Cartwheel the hands forward, the back foot rotates around. Front foot joins the back foot, downward dog. Inverted V. Breathe. And walk this one out still. You can continue just to walk that out. Take a breath. Then we're going to come down onto the floor, knees, and then we scoot forward, chest, chin, baby cobra. So we point the toes, the hands are underneath the shoulders. And we breathe here. So the legs are together, toes are pointed, big open chest. Breathe. Tuck the toes, hands come to the floor, downward facing dog. Looking through towards the knees and breathe. Take a breath, soften the jaw. Look through towards the hands and we're gonna step the right foot through, high lunge. So it's a nice high lunge here. Rotate that back foot out 90 degrees and let's come up. Extending the arms out, palms facing downwards. Check your arms are in line with each other. Front leg is bent, back leg is engaged and straight, looking forward towards the hand that is over the bent knee and draw the breath in from here. Draw in the core. A lovely warrior two. Breathing well.
Good. Let's rotate the arms. We're going to cartwheel the arms forward all the way into the front foot. Rotate the back foot around. And we're going to step the back foot through to join the front foot. Drop the head. And let's interlace the arms here. So let's take an arm to the elbow, making a little square shape with the arms. Drop the head into that shape. Soften the knees here and just really hang out. Hang out, flow from side to side if you want. Just feel the back opening. You really feel the spine opening through. Surrendering to the ground. Just allowing the feet to ground down here. Nice feeling. Let's drop the hands down to the floor. Tuck the chin to the chest and let's start to come up. Start to come up. Arms come up with us. Opening to a nice back bend, big open chest. Hands come into the prayer position. Thumb pressed against the chest, come to the front of your mat. Feet hip width apart, ground down. Breathe. Take a nice breath. Good. Let's drop the hands down either side of the body. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the body. So interlace the fingers behind you. And then pull the hands down, open the chest. Soften the shoulders, nice big chest. Maybe look up slightly. And then we're going to move from the pelvis, we're going to swan dive halfway. So we're going to soften the knees, we're going to come down halfway. And then from this point, we're going to soften even further raise the arms up overhead, softening into the shoulders here. Breathe slowly. If you like this and you're slightly mobile through the shoulders, then draw the palms together and point the index fingers out. You draw the palms together, you'll feel that this is a little bit more there. Gently lower the hands down the back, release the hands, allow them to come round either side of the feet. Good. And then we're going to draw our awareness to the left side of the body. We're going to step back, drop the knee, open the chest, look forward, looking forward, nice big open chest, breathe, draw the core in from the belly button, so let's take the front foot to join the back foot, downward dog, Inverted V. And then for a little bit of fun, maybe if you've got room wherever you are, take the right leg up behind you, extending the right leg out. If you want, you can drop it up, drop it over you, so you can just have a little open twist here. If you've got room, you can drop the foot all the way behind the right hand comes up and you move into wild thing. But be mindful of how much room you've got. Let's move back. Extend the right leg out. Let's bring the right leg down towards the floor. Good. Now let's draw the awareness to the left side of the body. Left leg comes up. You can drop the left leg over to one side. Drop the left leg down to the floor, open out, wild thing. 
Come back up. Extend the left leg out. Left leg comes back. Good. Let's bring the toes together, big toes together. Open the knees out to the floor nice and wide. Let's come back onto our bottoms, onto our heels. Balasana, child's pose. Let's take it to the ground, to the forearms. Forehead comes to the ground. We move into child's pose from here. Just to see how that feels, just to think a little extension through the back. So while you're in child's pose, try to breathe here. Soften the breath. Just to allow yourself just to surrender to the ground really here. Breathe. And let's come up onto all fours. Tuck the toes. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Let's push back up into downward dog. Looking through towards the hands, let's put the left leg through, drop the back knee, open the chest out, looking forward. So we've taken the left leg through, big open chest, breathe, draw the core in. Let's raise the back foot, the back, back knee off the ground, back foot joins the front foot, drop the head. Ground down, allow the head just to surrender to the ground here, so just allow yourself to just drop. And as before, we're going to tuck the chin to the chest, start to raise up, arms come up, little back bend, and then come down into the prayer position, hands to the chest. Take a breath. So come into the center of your mat, however that looks. So standing into the center of your mat, we'll just roll the shoulders out. Have give yourself a little shake out. We're gonna play with our warrior three here. See how that feels for us today. So this is a little bit of a balance exercise. So we've done warrior one then warrior two, and then we're gonna move into our warrior three now. So we're gonna just draw our awareness to the left side. So let's draw our awareness down to the left side, the left leg. And then let's start to move the body forward from the hips, we start to move the body forward. And as we start to move the body forward, let's take the right foot behind us and just place the big toe on the ground. So just start to feel a little bit of a balance there. And then as we come forward, you can start to raise the leg off the ground. And if you want, you can bring the hands forward. And then come out when you're ready. Come down. Shake the legs out, shake the arms out. See how that feels. Let's take it to the other side. Let's see how the other side feels. Let's take the right leg, draw our awareness into the right side. So let's start to come forward from the hip. And as we do come forward from the hip, let's take the left leg behind us. And we're just gonna balance on the big toe there. And then as we start to come forward, we can raise the leg off the ground. And the arms can come in front of us. And we extend out. So just see how that feels. Be with the body. Try not to overextend on the legs. Come out now. So just come down and come out. Give your legs a little shake off. Give yourself a little bounce. Good. Well done, guys. 
Let's come to the front of our mat. We're going to slowly soften. We're going to come down to the ground and we're going to come in to Shavasana. So we're going to be on our backs. Our palms are facing upwards. Our feet are hip width apart. And we just soften into the ground here. Breathe and soften. We've moved through three warriors. We've moved through our sun salutation variation. Just allow the body to soften, just rest into the ground here. And we'll move into set two banda savagasana, which is bridge pose. So let's take the feet to the floor. We're going to bend the knees, the feet are to the floor, bring the heels close to the bottom. The hands we place, the palms facing down on the ground, and they're going to support our bodies as we raise our hips up towards the ground. But initially, I'd like us just to see how that feels. So let's just raise the hips up off the ground just a couple of times, literally just the coccyx of your spine, the bottom of your spine, which is going to roll and rotate up and down just a few times to get that sensation of rolling the pelvis before we start to re really lift the pelvis off the ground. And as we start to roll backwards and forwards, let's maybe just take the pelvis just a little bit higher. And we start to move through the spine. We start to feel the spinal cord opening up. And this is all about all the, all, the, all the yoga that we're doing right now, all the exercises that we're doing, all the postures that we're, we're moving through. We're looking to get a flexible spine. And this helps, this makes it nice and strong. Good, and then we start to take the pelvis all the way up, raising the pelvis off the ground. Let's roll the shoulders underneath the body, interlace the fingers underneath the body. We've got a nice big shape here. Keeping the back of the head to the floor, chin is tucked. Be with the breath here. So see how this feels while you're probably clenching your buttocks right now. So see how it feels when you release the buttocks and just move all your awareness to the thighs. And then cl clench the buttocks and then see how that posture feels. So we unclench, move our awareness to our thighs. And then clench back up, we move, more, move our awareness back to the buttocks, gluteus maximus. Good, let's release the hands. Open out the shoulders. Start to come down one vertebrae at a time, palms are facing downward. Lovely. And as the spine straightens out, let's draw the knees up towards the chest. Raise the head, point the toes up towards the ceiling. Give ourselves a little roll on the back. Good. And then from here, we're going to roll and we're going to come up to seated. We're going to cross our legs. And we're going to take ourselves to yoga mudra. So we make the mudra with the hand. We take that behind the back and then we, with the other hand we take the wrist. And this is a time to draw your awareness inwards to soften the breath. This is not a posture, so this is our mudra. This is about drawing awareness inwards to you. So close or soften the eyes, and then we start to move the body forward. We come forward and we start to round and soften. And we come forward to however far forward the body will allow you. Just allow the body just to soften here. 
try not to manipulate the body and just be with the breath and allow the breath to soften. Allow the breath to be really soft here. So that's really lovely and then allow the body to come up slowly the same way as you came in. And you allow the body to come up nice and gently and as the hands come around the front as you start to extend upwards just soften the eyes, soften the gaze. Either have your hands on your shoulders, or sorry, have your hands on your knees or on the floor. Just soften the gaze, just soften the breath. And then we take the opportunity to come onto our backs with uncrossed the legs and it's time for deep relaxation yoga nidra. So when you're ready, come onto your back. Head facing towards your shrine or your altar if you have one. And just come onto the back. And it's time just to relax deeply now. So this is an opportunity for you to relax into the body. And you can stay here for as long as you want really. But for now, let's just soften the body Arms to the side, just allow the ankles to drop out. Let's take one nice long deep inhale through the nose and we're going to hold it. So in through the nose, hold, and out through the mouth. And without moving the body, you're going to just draw your awareness and scan through the body, softening and letting go, just surrendering to the ground, allowing your body just to be easy. And the soles of the feet and the ankles, you draw your awareness there. The calves and shins are soft. You allow the body just to start to melt into the floor. The thighs and the buttocks are relaxed. The lower back is soft. The belly is soft. The palms of your hands are soft and relaxed. You draw your awareness to the forearm and bicep. Torso and heart is open, chest is open. Shoulders are free and relaxed. Clear airway through the throat. Soften around the jaw. Soften into the tongue. The eyes are soft and relaxed. Side of the face, back of the head the top of the head. And now this is an opportunity just to allow the breath to be soft. No manipulation of the breath at all. And the invitation is to look for the stillness between each breath. Looking for the stillness between each breath and enjoy and relax.